Yo, what's up guys? This is my Season of Discovery Phase 4 Level 60 PvP Reckoning Quick Guide. The last two phases, I was playing a lot of Holy Reckoning. This phase, I've decided to put my other points into the Red Tree. We have all the talents we need for it to really be insane now that we're level 60. This build performs best in open world PvP or small scale group fights. Your burst can be insane. You can easily hit 3 to 4k bursts if you get all crits. This build doesn't do as well in Warsong Gulch or Arathi Basin, partly because everyone has 30% more hit points in those battlegrounds, and you rely on finishing fights very fast, very quick, very bursty fights. You want to just end it quick. That being said, let's hop right into it. Alright, let's go over the talents first. So I'm running 25 in protection, just like normal. Uh, same thing as last phase, I'm pretty sure. It's probably the exact same talents. But uh, yeah, you do 3 improved Hammer of Justice, 2 improved Concentration Aura, 5 into Reckoning, and then all the rest is like, exactly the same as what I did before. I'm not going to go super into it. Retribution, um, we're going 5 Benediction, 2 improved Judgment, 3 Deflection, 5 Conviction. I take Seal of Command, you don't have to, I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, 3 out of 3 Vindication, because it increases your attack power, and... Uh, yeah, I think that's all it does. Um, reduces the target's attack power by 210 and increases the Paladin's attack power by 15% for 30 seconds. So, and it's really good. And it reduces their strength and agility. So you're debuffing your target like crazy and you're buffing yourself. Uh, always take eye for an eye. It's really good against casters. You can't, you can't not take it. You have to take eye for an eye. Three two-handed spec. Gives us 6% more weapon damage. Kind of nice. And then we take one Sanctity Aura and one Vengeance. Because it's all we have the talents for. And why I take Seal of Command is because, one, you can Seal Twist it. You can stun someone for a big Seal of Command judgment. And it can crit pretty hard sometimes. Like 1200, maybe even higher if you have uh, the right gear and trinkets on and stuff like that. But yeah, it's like... That's the reason I take it. I know twisting is probably better um, when you're twisting a wreck bomb with martyr and righteousness. So you can still do that, but a lot of the times you're going to be using command one for your auto attacks just to get that proc, and for the uh, stun judgment, and then for seal twisting, martyr and command because you get four hits when you swing uh, a twist with martyr and command. So I just think it's really nice to have that option to, to be able to use that. For my runes, they're exactly the same as last phase almost, but there's a few different changes you could do. So I'll go over all of them. So for headpiece, just use fanaticism. It's too good. For your uh, cape piece, just use righteous vengeance. For your chest, you can go with Divine Storm or Aegis. Both are good and both kind of have their own advantages. So if you take Aegis, you're getting uh, Reckoning procs on a 10% chance with any damage. So not just crits, but any attack that hits you has a 10% chance to proc Reckoning, which is good. So it allows you to get stacks faster or Divine Storm. I personally like Divine Storm because it gets stealthies out. So like if a rogue tries to like vanish on you and like really, really good rogues will tear you up. Like if you, if you let them stealth and then come back and like hit you, you're probably going to die if you don't have your cooldowns. If you do have your cooldowns, you should be good. But yeah, they do a lot of damage. And I just like, I like just doing more bursts. So it's like if there's like a lot of people around you and you hit this, it's really good. I think, I don't know, I, I prefer Divine Storm over Aegis because I feel like I get stacks anyways, but you can go either way. You can mess with both of them and see which one you like more. But yeah, so those are the chest options. Um, either Divine Storm or Aegis. Uh, for the wrist, I always use Improved Hammer of Wrath because you can wreck bomb someone and they're almost dead and then you throw that instant hammer and they're dead. Easy. Easy claps. Uh, for your gloves i usually always take crusader strike but you could be weird and mess around with some like a uh, hand of reckoning because you do get that damage reduction while you have righteous fury up but i don't know if it's really worth it um sheath of light on your belt i think it's too good not to run uh, i use rebuke but there's a lot of different options you can do and 
depending on gameplay, like what's going on uh, around you, you could change it up. So your leg runes, I wouldn't use Avengers Shield because you don't really ever switch weapons that often and you lose stacks if you switch weapons. So I, I would stray away from that, although you could kind of like use it here and there switch into it and like use one hand and shield for a little bit but if you get stacks you can't switch into your two hand so it's like that's why i don't like using avenger shield inspiration exemplar is sick if you're in like a small group setting throw this on and you're preventing your team from getting feared and slept and stuff like that it's tremor totem on the paladin i haven't messed with aura mastery i don't know if it's really worth it and then i like rebuke because if you're by yourself and there's like a shit ton of like casters on you or like two or three or like there's a healer you can go kick the healer and then like like burst them down how however you want to do it really good and then uh for beat just use sacred shield it's too good i think it's way too good it's better in art of war and pvp and then for the new ring slots so i use holy specialization because i believe it gives you six percent Crit, not six percent hit there you go uh chance to hit with holy spells increased by six percent so yeah it's it's good you're basically not gonna miss your judgments or anything like that anymore like you're gonna hit uh i, I just feel like yeah it's that's the one to go with or you could do mace spec i don't know and then the other one is defense specialization so this gives you like one percent of all the uh defensives i believe it's about 1%. You get like a 1% parry, block, dodge. I think that's what you get from it. Yeah. Because like a 25, I think, is 1% of all that. So yeah, it it's good against melees. So it, it, it I think it does work in PvP too. So like, it's good. And when it comes to gearing, you want as much stamina as possible. So what I would recommend is... The PvP set is really good. It has decent stats on it. The only downside is you don't get a lot of int, so your mana is going to be kind of low, um, which is the only downside. Everything else about this set is fine. And uh, the enchants, so I run the 100 hit point enchant on legs and on helmet, and then I run 100 hit point enchant on chest also for PvP. As far as like other sets you can use, so if you manage to get full tier 1 from Molten Core, I think that set will be really good, especially because it has a lot of fire resist on it. So it'll help you out in like the shaman fights and things like that. Um, I think that set will actually be solid, but you're going to have... I'm not exactly sure how much less stamina, but you are going to have less stamina. I think it's probably going to sit you somewhere around like maybe like... 4400 4500 before like enchants and all that so you might be just shy of 5k hit points i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm sitting at 5.1k hit points before any buffs so when i when i when buffs hit me like i'm i'm beefing like that's that's what allows you to like sustain in fights is reckoning is being able to take damage so you need as much stamina as possible you still want strength and all that on your gear, but that's like secondary to your stamina. You want as much hit points as possible. Like I'm running Myrmidon Signet with 17 stamina, and then I got Don Julio's Band, and then I got this bad boy Neck with 15 stamina, 18 attack power. You want as much stamina as possible. That's pretty much it for the gearing. Pretty simple. Different sets you can use, but just make sure you have... A lot of stamina and try to aim to be at 5k unbuffed if you can hit it if you can't get as close as you can to that number but yeah that's pretty much it if you enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a like subscribe to the channel it really helps me out a lot comment down below and tell me what builds you guys have been running i stream just about every monday and friday over on twitch go catch me live over there same name steven bones anyways thanks for watching the video and peace